Man, I am absolutely pumped up about this week because we're going to get to do something that I've never got to do before, which is go out to Wyoming and hunt mule deer. My producer and I, Josh, are actually heading out to Table Mountain to do a competition. I already think we're crazy. We ain't been here five minutes. The Buck Commander guys are going to be out there. Buck Commander 5, Wyoming, September, opening week. Really talented producers like Nick and Matt White. I'm hoping this turkey sandwich is about half as good as their production elements. Chris Kane and Jeff Enzer. Oh my goodness. Guys like Tim Burnett from the Solo Hunter TV show. Big Josh. This is going to be the highlight. <laughs> and some not so talented producers like Jacob Walker and Philip Pitts. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I want to shoot that thing and hit it for dinner tonight. I've never seen a deer jump in a water tank quite like that. He thought that was a public swimming pool here in Wyoming. Well, man, this is it. What bow hunters wait all year long for. It's finally deer season somewhere in the country. And we're actually heading out to Wyoming this week to go chase some mule deer. Well, the reason we're heading out to Wyoming to Table Mountain is because Josh and I are involved in a competition reality show called Top Outdoor Producer. Hey, we're here for the Mule Deer Challenge. Where do I check in? I so say, where do I check in? Part of this competition, and part of the reason we're here on this particular hunt, a large part of it, in fact, is filming production elements, which when you get to see Top Outdoor Producer next year, you'll kind of understand a little bit more what I'm talking about. But we got to compete against a lot of guys that I looked up to in the industry. Much of our time was spent doing a lot more filming which um, kind of got in the way of the hunting a little bit. <laughs> we'll see how it goes, but we got all our stuff done for the first day and, you know, we'll try to keep it going, see what these guys come up with. It should be some, some cool looking stuff because the amount of artillery they pulled out. It's a little bit after daylight right now. We're just sort of riding around in that truck, glassing. There's a lot of open area, but there's some topography where these animals are. It's amazing what little piece of ground they can actually hide in. So far, we've seen a bunch of uh, bunch of does, a bunch of pronghorns. So we're gonna see what we can do. It's the first day of hunting, so you never know what to expect. Well, once we got out there that first morning, you know, it didn't take me and Doug long to spot some mule deer. We've got mule deer right now here in this little draw. We watched them kind of feed their way and dip off into it, but just trying to think up an approach right now. The wind's blowing from, from our left to right. So we gotta figure out a way to get down around behind them maybe. Now this group, they're not huge, but the thing about what we're doing this week is we're in a competition. You can shoot whatever size mule deer you feel like legally, but for the competition, there's a minimum of 100 inches. What is this thing? What is it? Ooh. Should I call her and ask her if we should shoot it? Yeah. We just got set up, and now I've completely forgot about mule deer. I don't know what it is, but I want to shoot that thing and hit it for dinner tonight. I'm calling Angie. It looks like it looks like a great big quail is what it looks like. It's got a beak and some feathers, and it's drinking out of this water hole. A sage grouse. A sage grouse. I, I figured it was something like that. All right. Well, I was just wondering. Oh, it's illegal? Oh. Dang. Yep, nope. You can talk about it all you want. Like. It's a cute one, though. Okay. All righty. And I thought I was a redneck. I looked up, and it's like five feet away from us. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. All right. Well, sounds good. We'll call you, call you in a little while. Sage grouse. No season for sage grouse. We spotted a pretty good mule deer. We were we glassed these other four. We gotta go get on him right now, but we've glassed these other four, put them to bed, and they're sort of our backup. The red rack buck is our backup plan. But this buck is right here, so we gotta get down in his draw and get after him. Yeah, he's right there. Basically what we're gonna do, the buck is facing away. 
these upwind of us. So what we're gonna do is pick our way through the sage. The only problem is we gotta we gotta do it in the, the old tube socks. <laughs> We had the chance, man. We blew our opportunity right off the bat on a big, big mule deer. That was fun anyway. We got up on him. Dang. First mule deer stock we got within 25 yards. He was right there. Back in the same spot where we saw Red Rack bed down this morning. We're gonna change our guide's name from Doug to Speedy. I don't believe, I don't believe I'd have made it up the mountain. I don't believe, I don't believe I'd have climbed so high. I don't believe, I don't believe I'd have made it up the mountain. Without the fire burning on the my behind. Most places when you're deer hunting, you're trying to judge a deer that could be anywhere from 125 inches to 160 inches. Well, might not sound like what a man should do, but you all understand when you hear my shoes that I would just find them out. When the deer's right around that 100 inch mark, it's pretty tough to judge whether you should shoot or not shoot. He was too close to that line to judge, and that's kind of what's making this competition hard is I don't know how a two-point would score, you know? Whatever, man, we're having fun, it's all right. We're gonna get one. Is that a shooter? Yes or no? I don't know if he's, I mean, he's only got four points. I think we can do better. I hope I didn't just screw up, man. I'm about to keep on climbing to get to the truth. You gotta burn a few holes in those shoes if you're gonna find your way. Hey, yo, I'm Mike Miller, the turkey killer. I got a beard like Moses. He's probably gonna kill me in my sleep for saying that. You know, Nick and Matt White got mixed up as to which truck they were riding in, I guess, and put their lunch in our truck. So about midday, we had some extra snacks. I'm hoping this turkey sandwich is about half as good as their production elements, and it should be delicious. Mmm. You can taste the art. Well, you could tell between big boy coming in and the deer coming into four yards and them, they just couldn't get a shot. They were pretty discouraged. And just when they think it's all over and done with. I'm just gonna watch him go down right here. I was privileged to stick my head out this window 
and I watched him fall, so there is not going to be much of a blood tracking job on this one, but anyway, we'll see y'all in a second. It's the end of the first day, and we had a phenomenal day. Went on three or four stalks, didn't we, Doug? One step here, one step there, we might have had one, but that's kind of just the way it goes. We'll get one tomorrow. Golly, he's a little bit, wow. maybe a little bigger than I thought he was. Oh, man. Oh. What do you that. think of that, Miss Angie? I Old think Valley? you've done really well. Cool, cool, I cool. I am impressed. Look at the bases on that. I know it. I know Oh, she's got some mass to him. We might be even backstroke later on this week. I think so. Good deal. Thank you very much, Miss well, Angie. Congratulations. Thank you. Curse is broken, Jim. Yes. Lou. <laughs> Buddy, congratulations! Finally, wow. awesome. hey. you guys too, man. Yeah, man. Heck yeah. Finally, finally, yeah. They got a look at the G2s yeah. on that one. Look at the G's. That's, Woo. A, that's a good one. That's a nice one. And the velvet's all intact. Oh yeah, man. I'm tired of turning to being a ground blind. It's not exactly our style of hunting. We kind of like to be on the move, getting after stuff. But it's like kind of like if the moon had sagebrush and a little water hole, <laughs> you kind of feel like you're just out in the middle of nothing. But these mule deer can hide in the tiniest little pockets. We got a little buck spotted right up the hill here. So we eat up here in this little barn. There's some does out in front of it. We're gonna sit here behind the barn and see if they, uh, see if they come by us. Well, Chris had teamed up with Jeff Enzer, who's another one of our good buddies, and they found this one little spot where they could sneak up to this barn, and these mule deer were just crossing through the sage to a water hole. Wasn't meant to be here. gonna be it for the morning hunt. It's getting pretty hot out here. We got some production elements that we gotta go back in and take care of. We saw some antelope come in this morning. That was really cool. I've never seen an antelope up close. It's a pretty cool hunt. It's all bucks, all some does and a bunch of speed goats. But we'll try to get it done this evening. We spotted this buck from the top of the ridge up there. Dean located him. We came down just kind of creeped up on my side of this hill. Crawled up and got to uh, got to 60 yards and put it on him, man. Bam! Bam! Oh, baby! that baby that's what they're supposed to look like he is uh he's probably not gonna score but uh everything we had to go through to get him it was certainly worth it it's the second evening we've been out of blinds today yesterday was spot and stalk day we got the buck around the boys just over the hill from the it's the first little deer that's coming here to get a drink we're hoping that one of these big bucks they've been seeing on the haystack will come in here and get them, a, get them a little drink before dark. It's real, real hot, so we're hoping this water hole thing's gonna pay off. I'm ready to kill some. Miss Angie just dropped us off. The boys for Red Arrow are just over the ridge. We're gonna try to do a little crossfire right here. They're not too far from us. Never got a muley kill ever on Buck Commander. Nobody's ever had one. Must be the first. Get her done. Time to execute. Execution. We look out here, and I see it, you know, what I thought was a decent rack bug coming in. Walks all the way to the blind. All the way to the blind. Pins is here. 
years back, looks this way. Here comes another buck. This other buck walks around to the other side of the blind, and then this one storm wazes right there, four yards. That was insane. Was it just run down? He's big enough, but he is smoked. Oh, I'm shaking. I just want y'all to know that the reason I shot that mule deer is to create drama on y'all show. Because <laughs> it's going to come down to the quarter inch, making him 100 inches, but that's all right. <laughs> I've never seen a deer jump in a water tank quite like that either. He thought that was a public swimming pool here in Wyoming. He could have used a lifeguard, but I don't think a lifeguard's going to be able to help him. I love it. You got, you got meat on my family's table, and that's, that's the number one main thing. Thank you, Lord. It was awesome. I was actually a little worried about my arrow because he was at eight or ten yards, and it zipped through him so fast. I guess it just cleaned the arrow. I don't know. His whole body was underwater. Yeah. So he's not going to be panicking, but. You got him? Yes, sir. Congratulations, bud. Man, thank you, Gilbert. Oh, yeah. He's a cool deer. I don't know if he'll score, man, but he's cool. <laughs> I'm kind of like Ted Nugent, man. I'm more about the, the back straps than the head hardware anyway. That is cool, man. Hope I didn't put us out of the running, man. But it is what it is now. We can't, we can't do any CPR, so we'll see how he scores. Man, thanks for watching Rams Red Arrow TV this week. We had a ton of fun out at Table Mountain Outfitters. All the guys there in camp, you know, Scott and Angie Denny, Thank you guys so much for having us. You have to be sure and check us out on Facebook. Go on our website, check out our new online store because we've got some pretty cool new Red Arrow gear that you guys can check out. Don't miss next week either because we're heading out to the mecca of all whitetail deer hunting, Montana. We're going to Northeast Montana, and I'm telling you what, you have never seen whitetail deer like we're going to show you all next week. Executive producer <laughs> Josh Clark. We're rolling with it. We got five cameras on me. It's like paparazzi falling up here. <laughs> Are we even sure which vehicle is theirs? <laughs> no. <laughs> Usually when I put this face paint on, I intend to kill something. Now I have toilet paper in my hands. I feel like I'm in middle school. We use a natural drain. Then we got to meet our best guide, Doug, and then we're gonna give him our best guide hug. Go, Doug, Doug, you Doug, you Doug, Doug. Oh, yeah. I'm going to Oh! <laughs> Denied. <laughs>